George Scott, the author of The Art of Wrestling, was arguably one of the deadliest people to ever set foot onto a wrestling mat. Born in Kensington, London, on the 18th of June 1887 to Russian immigrant parents, he took up wrestling as a young man, as a form of exercise. By the age of 20, he was a two-time English champion at both lightweight and middleweight. He was selected for the 1908 Olympics, where he won gold at lightweight and silver at middleweight. But it was in 1914 that his real talents began to shine. At the outbreak of World War I, he enlisted in the army and became a physical training instructor based in Aldershot. He excelled in that too. And after a stint teaching bayonet fighting to the Australian infantry, was sent to the front line, where he introduced a system of hand-to-hand -hand combat of his own devising. He taught it to special trench raiding parties, and it proved so effective that an entire team of instructors was created to teach his system as widely as possible. At the end of the war, he simplified his methods, and they became the basis for a system of wrestling adopted by the entire army. On the outbreak of war for a second time, he immediately re-enlisted and served as an instructor of unarmed combat and silent killing with a special operations executive, where he was the sergeant major to W.E. Fairburn. There are a number of stories of his time at Camp X in Canada, including Fairburn's first night at the camp. When fire broke out in the mess hall, Fairburn refused to leave until he'd collected his belongings. But Mac, the camp guard, called de Relvescoff to help. He was already outside, but he crashed through the window and bodily dragged Fairburn out of the building. Eventually, as Fairburn was promoted out of the role of direct instruction, it was de Relvescoff who replaced him. There's some debate and controversy over how he died. Some sources say he died in combat in Burma. Some say he was at home with his wife in Yorkshire. But whichever is true, he didn't survive to the end of the war. But his legend certainly did. His book is a wonderful piece of work with detailed instructions on not only how to perform the techniques, but how to structure a series of lessons for beginners to get them up to speed in wrestling as quickly as possible. There's even a brief section at the end looking at self-defence for women. But what is most striking is not the quality of the techniques, but the similarity to a lot of the techniques taught by Fairburn in his later works. Get Tough was published in 1942, 17 years after The Art of Wrestling, when Fairburn was training alongside de Rolveskov on a daily basis, and the similarities are notable. So whether you're looking for a book that will teach you how to wrestle, or you're looking for an insight into the fighting style of the man who almost single-handedly created the allied trench fighting system of World War I, you could do a lot worse than getting a copy of this book. I photographed each page individually, combined them together into a PDF, and I'm going to share it with my supporters over on Patreon. I'll be adding a new book every month, so if you'd like to support the channel, then please follow the link in the description below and let me know what you think of The Art of Wrestling.